Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a very special episode of Easy Buckets. How are you guys doing today? Hope you're having a fantastic day so far. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the Lakers and talking about what their roster is going to look like. The Lakers just gave out their official list. They have 14 players on their team and in this video, I'm going to be highlighting everyone. With NBA preseason about to start, oh boy are we excited. Before getting into the video, I want to give a quick shout out to John Carter from Patreon. John, thank you so much for your support. John has been a part of Patreon for a very long time now. And John, I just want to say, I'm going to keep working hard to keep making you proud. If you guys ever want a shout out, go check out my Patreon page. Link is down below. There are a lot of special perks there. Just one more announcement. I'm giving away a bunch of copies of NBA 2K22. So if you want to be a part of the giveaway, all you got to do is join my Discord community. It's completely free. I would love to see as many of you guys are part of that. And right now with the NBC is about to start, I'm going to be active there and want to see you all there as well. But without wasting any more time, let's talk about the Lakers roster. After a very successful training camp, the Lakers are locked in for the preseason. We got some news from Frank Vogel that after training camp, he loves the new look roster and simply loves the intensity that he's seeing. Before getting into the list, I do want to say I will be live streaming a lot during the regular season and in the NBA playoffs, so if you guys want to watch live commentary, play-by-play -play reaction, I got you guys. I'm going to be starting with the Lakers vs Brooklyn Nets preseason game tomorrow. For all those who have been a part of my live streams in the past, I am super excited and love to see you all again. As of right now, the Lakers have 14 players on their roster, and from what Rob Plenka is saying, he's going to keep that 15 final spot open just in case during the midseason, a player becomes available. Never rule out the possibility of the Lakers making trades, so that's also an option as well. Starting off the video, we're going to be talking about the Lakers point guards, and this is who we got. Of course, we got Russell Westbrook, the Lakers' biggest acquisition this summer. From what Frank Vogel is saying, Russ looks so aggressive in practice, he looks locked in, and he looks as quick as ever. And when talking about someone that impressed him, Russell Westbrook was easily his answer. Backing up Russell Westbrook, we got Kendrick Nunn, 26 year old from the Miami Heat. I believe this offseason, he was one of the best Lakers quiet signings, meaning he's not a star or a big time name. But when it comes to contributions and what he brings to the table, Kendrick Nunn's going to surprise you. He is going to be a big time factor. Next up on the Lakers point guard list, they got Rajon Rondo, a former Lakers player, former Lakers champion, and bringing him back on the veterans minimum was simply a bang for your buck. We got a couple of reports that Rajon Rondo knows he might not be getting a lot of minutes this year, but he's going to be very impactful when it comes to his vocal leadership, of course his locker room presence, and of course his NBA experience. I believe Rondo's passion and competitive nature is going to speak volume to the Lakers overall success. Moving on to the SG shooting guard position, we got Wayne Ellington, 33 years old, and right now is listed as one of the best three-point shooters for the Lakers. Being recognized as an NBA vet, he's known to be a sharp shooter, meaning all he does is space the floor and shoot the three ball. And right now with the Lakers not confirming on a starting shooting guard, Wayne right now is currently the highly projected one. Next shooting guard, we got the Lakers' prized young star of Talon Horton Tucker. The Lakers invested in THT this offseason, signed him to a three-year $30 million deal, and I do believe this year he's going to be a big six-man for the Lakers. I don't believe he's going to start, but I do believe he will get a lot of minutes and maybe play closing minutes for the Lakers. I expect a lot from THT. He's going to make a big improvement after losing KCP, Alex Crusoe, and of course, Kyle Kuzma. The next combo guard is talking about Kent Bazemore, and I'll categorize him as a wing. He can play the shooting guard and also the small forward, and I believe this offseason, he was a very good target when it comes to veteran leadership and, of course, an athletic body that can simply push the pace and also bring in a 3 and D presence. After playing the past few years with the Trailblazers and the Golden State Warriors, Kent has a lot of experience, and when it comes to playing for a championship team, I want to see Kent in a real opportunity. The next shooting guard is talking about Malik Monk. He's one of the younger players on the Lakers roster, and I believe this offseason, getting Monk to the veterans minimum was a bang for your buck. Malik wants a new opportunity, and after training camp, Frank Vogel says he was very impressive when it comes to his energy and of course his contributions. After averaging about 12 points per game behind Devontae Graham, Terry Rozier, and LaMelo Ball, Malik Monk does have the potential to be even better. And with the Lakers, I do believe in preseason, he's going to get a lot of minutes. We're going to see Malik Monk unleashed. Next up, we got the Lakers' newest acquisition rookie of Austin Reeves. During the summer league, he was a part of the Lakers team and gave us flashes of a mini Luka Doncic. 
out there averaging about 18 points per game in college and about 10 points a game in summer league, the Lakers believe in his future and are interested in investing in him in a development personality and perspective when talking about the future. They want to develop him alongside the young guns of THT. Moving on to the small forward, we got LeBron James, their captain, the Lakers' best player, gonna be 37 years old this year, and averaged about 25 points per game last season, 7.7 rebounds, and 7.8 assists. I do believe this year during the regular season, LeBron might turn down just a little bit, but when talking about the NBA playoffs, we're gonna see playoff LeBron back in action. We got news this year, LeBron lost a couple of pounds, which means he's gonna be quicker, and of course, from what we're hearing, he's gonna be more of a catch-and-shoot player. Having Russell Westbrook there to simply be another playmaker, LeBron might simply had to shift this game a little bit this year and I'm super excited for the new LeBron James. Well thanks for sure though I do believe the Lakers will go as far as LeBron James takes them so LeBron I'm super excited for what you contribute this year and of course playing your MVP level. The next forward we got is Trevor Ariza, one of the best vets in the NBA. He's known as a 3 and D player and has bounced around for over 12 teams. And going back to the Lakers where he won the NBA championship in 2009, oh boy, this reunion brings in a nostalgic feeling. As of right now, we're hearing that Trevor Ariza might be the starting power forward. And with Trevor bringing in a 3 and D presence, Russell Westbrook and LeBron James will have a great wing on those driving kick opportunities. Next up, we got Carmelo Anthony, one of the best acquisitions for the Lakers this offseason. Signing Carmelo to a veteran's minimum, we're finally going to see Carmelo Anthony and LeBron James on the same roster. This is super exciting. After playing the past few years with the Portland Trailblazers, Carmelo Anthony has established himself as one of the best vets at this six-man position. And with the rumors of him playing the exact same role he did on the Lakers as he did on the Portland Trailblazers, I want to see the same thing from Melo. Come off the bench and be a scoring spark plug. From what we know so far, Carmelo Anthony is going to be active in preseason, so Melo, I want to see you drop at least 20 points in one of those games. Next up, we got Anthony Davis, the Lakers prize star, prize big man, and this year, I am expecting big things from AD. After getting injured in the first round last year in the playoffs, Anthony Davis was a big reason why they didn't win. And this year, I want to see him be more aggressive. He only averaged about 22 points last year, 8 rebounds and 3 assists, but this year, I want to see him go back to 25 points per game, 10 rebounds, and maybe 2 blocks a game. And with the rumors of Anthony Davis bulking up, we're hearing that he might be the starting center for the Lakers in the foreseeable future. If AD starts at the 5, the floor spacing simply opens up, and I do believe this is the style that Frank Vogel is going to try out in the NBA preseason. AD will be active in tomorrow's preseason game. Moving on to the center position, we got Dwight Howard, a former NBA champion with the Lakers, former Lakers twice, and seeing a reunion again is simply amazing. From what Frank Vogel is saying, in training camp, Dwight has been one of their vocalist and loudest players, and I do believe that passion off the bench, being an energy spark plug, Howard simply brings that to the table, as he was a big part of why they won in 2019. With the Lakers needing interior defense, especially if AD comes off the bench, Howard is simply a great fit off the bench. Last but not least, we got DeAndre Jordan, the Lakers' newest big who they got from the Brooklyn Nets. I believe having DJ as a third center off the bench is a bang for your buck, because DJ is a starting caliber big. Of course, he's nowhere as good as he used to be, but with him still being 33 years old, he's actually one of the younger players on this team. And still averaging about 8 points and 8 boards last year, I do believe off the bench, he could simply average those numbers on a per 36 percentage. I do believe Dwight Howard and AD will play more at the center position, but DJ is simply a great locker room presence and a veteran leader. So yes guys, this wraps up my video for today, talking about the Lakers and their official roster going into preseason. What's most important to me is I want to know your thoughts. Do you believe the Lakers are winning the title this year? Are you excited for the Lakers? Put your thoughts down in the comments below. But other than that, take it easy, God bless, and I'll see you all next time on Easy Buckets. Woo! I got it.